In this video, we'll be converting complex numbers to polar form. The problem that we'll be working with is to convert 3 plus 5i to polar form. Now let me draw a sketch of this. We know that this is rectangular form, and when you have a complex number, your horizontal axis is your real axis, and your vertical axis is your imaginary axis. So to graph 3 plus 5i, I would go to the right 3 on the real axis, since this is my real number, and then I would go up 5 on my imaginary axis, this is my imaginary part, and the point that I end up with right there is my 3 plus 5i. Now to convert to polar form, we want to look at the vector that has its initial point at the origin and its terminal point at 3 plus 5i. And I want the length of that vector, and I'll call it r, and I want the angle that the vector makes with this horizontal axis. And I'll call that theta. Now if we look at our right triangle here, this length is 3, and this length is 5. So we can find r by using the Pythagorean theorem. 3 squared plus 5 squared equals r squared. 3 squared is 9. 5 squared is 25. And this is 34. And that's r squared. So r is the square root of 34. Then, to find our theta, we can use right triangle trig. So we know that the tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we know the tangent of theta is 5 over 3. So when we arc tangent both sides, we have theta is arc tan, 5 over 3. Make sure we're in degrees. So arc tan, 5 divided by 3. Looks like theta is 59 degrees. So when we write um, our complex number, remember we have the i in there. So we can write that as root 34 cis 59. 